Hey guys, it's Ison here, and we are back with some more Dwarf Fortress, where I've had a few changes. Um, I haven't done too much, I just basically built out the rest of these beds and such. Um, really not much going on, but I was letting it run. I built a couple more workshops here, and uh, I'll explain why in a second. Let me pull up Therapist. The reason was I took that, um, I went ahead and took that, what's it called? Migration wave and I assigned everything here. So now I've got three cooks two crafts dwarves three farmers 29 haulers um, This is a little deceiving though because all of these Are children so they're not actually gonna do any work. I just put them in there So they'll become haulers as soon as they grow up I'm up to four masons and as you guys remember I have my masons doing masonry stone detailing as well as mechanics and architecture so I went ahead and built some more um, mason work workshops so they could do that. And I have two woodcutters now. Uh, woodworkers, sorry. Two woodworkers. And those are doing carpentry and crossbow making. Um, so because of that, I went ahead and built some more masonry shops. And up here, I built another carpentry shop. Which actually, I want to go ahead and get him doing some stuff. We'll get him to make... What is this guy doing over here? He's making cabinets. So I want to get this guy making... Um, let's actually just get a bunch of training spears going. Because we definitely need to turn some of this wave into a military. But the other important thing that's happened is right here. Uh, right there. Okay. So... We actually want to get some mechanisms. Sorry. Got distracted. So they're just going to get a bunch of mechanisms, so they're going to go on and they're made. This building has been claimed by Rockest Sostredem, a Haldorf. He's actually a child. Uh, if we go through my announcements, this guy, a Rockest Dwarven child, withdraws from society. And I created a masterpiece, and he claimed a craft dwarf workshop. So he was hit with a um, secretive mood, which basically means he's going to try and take what he can, what he needs... And he's going to bring it in here. And, um... Okay, someone just got stung by a honeybee. If he can get everything he needs in here, he's going to create an artifact. And, um... Become a master mason. Or, I'm sorry, a master of some form of crafting. Whatever he's making. Before he's an adult. If not, he'll go crazy and eventually die. But as of yet... He's just been uh, happily taking things in there. Um, let's see. Other stuff I have going on. I got this guy making rock crafts. Um, eventually someone's going to fix that. Some statues are going through there. I got this guy cutting gems like crazy. Uh, because I do want to trade soon. And then up here in the Grand Hall, we got these guys smoothing stuff out. Ah, and that's why my masonry hasn't been doing any hasn't been going yet. So I'm actually going to go ahead and remove this designation for now so that they will get to work on my masonry and I'm gonna go ahead and put it right back. And this is this was just like I want to temporarily remove it so someone would take over the job of making those uh, statues because I really want those statues done. So that's doing its thing and I want to go ahead ooh masterpiece. Oh, he's begun a mysterious construction. So, I'm super excited. He actually got everything he needed. They're building my workshops. And what I do want to do is... The masons here, I just want to get them to do blocks. Because uh, what that's going to do is convert my stone into blocks. And blocks can be stored in bins. So, it'll help clean this place up. Something else I did, and I meant to do this earlier is I set up a refuse in here that accepts skulls, bones, shells, blah, blah, blah. Everything but corpses and body parts. And then outside, I changed this so it does not accept, so it only accepts uh, corpses and body parts. That way, you know, the stone, bones, stuff like that will all be where I can use them. So pretty excited about that. Let's see, why has this been suspended? Um... Unsuspend that. They're taking forever to do this. And it's mainly because I it's because I have my masons doing other stuff. But I want to designate them to go ahead and chop down any trees in here. 
and pick any plants in here. Okay, so those are saplings. I can't chop those down yet. Ugh, I wish you could rip out saplings. And, oh, that's ants. It's created a masterpiece. Let's go... Why can't I look to that? Like, zoom to that. Darn it. Okay. So my kitchens are doing their thing. Um, still doing their things. There's some... Something there. He's playing with the corpse. That's cool. Um, but yeah, there are beasts. There's a lot of wood just laying around. My hauler's gonna have to start doing that. My... Cool. So we do have this thing done now. So we're gonna go ahead and make a wood supply room here. And go ahead and remove this wood supply room. Because I need to start using getting this ready to be used as a uh, um, storage or as a training room. So we'll get that going. And then we're going to put a furniture supply room down there as well once that other side's dug out. Okay. Now we got to figure out what we want next time. Um, oh crap, I just didn't even realize what I was doing. I don't really need leather. Um, so let's see what we want. Let's go up to the top here. I, let's see, I'm not sure what I need. I don't need crafts. I don't really need wood. Metal bars I'm good on. Uh, I could do with an anvil. Um, get an anvil would be nice. Some weapons in general would be good. Uh, I don't really need training weapons. Bolts. I could do dig some bolts. Um, let's just get them to bring a bunch of clothing. And as I said before, I like doing low priority. I mean, less chance I'm going to get what I want, but since I'm not, like, hugely gung-ho about all this, you know, whatever. It's just, you know, they tend to jack up the price if, you, if you're if you like, oh my god, I must have this thing. They're like, oh, well, in that case... Um... Oops, wrong way. I could definitely do with some animals, though. Like, a duck... I definitely want ducks. I want goose, geese, and ganders. Um, turkey hen, turkey gobbler. Mainly just um, birds, because I want eggs. Drinks, eh. Nah, I'm all right on that. Uh, meat, fish, whatever. Plump helmets, stone. I'm good on. Um. Trying to think if there's anything else I really need. Not really, honestly. We're doing all right. Um, tools. No. Yeah, honestly, we're done. That's uh, that's all I really need there, buddy. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and build a couple carpenters' workshops in here, though. Uh, we'll just put like two of them for now. And that way, once those are built, we can go ahead and get rid of the ones on the top. Oh, it's completed. I've made an amazing artifact. <laughs> that was creepy. A birchen mini forge. What exactly is a mini forge? Okay. Um. Now here's the cool thing. We're gonna look at this guy, Rockist. We're gonna take a look at him in Dwarf Therapist. Rockest. Yeah, this guy. So now, he is a master woodcrafter. Which is awesome. Like, I mean, he is still a child. And he's a master. So we're going to actually change him over to a craft dwarf. So when he becomes an adult, he can jump right into it and just keep on making beautiful things. Okay, artifacts. Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, description. Birch and Mini Forge. The highest quality is decorated with birch. Its object menaces with spikes of chestnut and alder. On the item is an image of Moldoth Echo Glaze, the dwarf, in pigtail fiber. Cool. 
awesome. I'm glad you did that, good sir. Okay, so have they been making my statues? I have no idea. But I do want to start building some of these cabinets. What are cabinets under? I thought it was in F. So we're going to start putting some cabinets in these rooms. Just making them a little nicer. Holy crap, I have a lot of cabinets. Which is good, because I need them like in every single room here. These people are taking forever to put the beds in. I feel like I've been waiting for these beds for like six years. And I need to get doors getting made. I, okay, I'm going to switch that guy from making blocks to doors. Okay, so we got some cabinets assigned. Uh, looks like we're out of sweet pod seeds. Carpenter's workshops just got built. So let's switch this guy uh, off of blocks and just get him making doors. And no one's making statues yet. I swear they're probably up here smoothing, aren't they? These guys just love their smoothing. They won't stop smoothing. But my carpenters are doing their things. He just built off both of them. That's awesome. So we're going to make cabinets on one. And uh, what else do we want here? I don't want to start making wooden doors. Let's actually get some bins. I need some more bins. So there we go. And now what we can do... Oh, another masterpiece. Is go ahead and cancel that. And slate that for removal. And slate that for removal. Cool. And soon we shall have our military force. Ugh. I need them to finish digging this out. Where are they where are they digging right now? That's so important. They finished this. Is that another masterpiece? They don't seem to be digging anywhere. Are they down here? No. Mmm. They're not digging here. Okay, I have no idea where these guys are digging. Ah, uh, look over the documents. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Sounds good. I am okay with these documents. Cool. Okay, so my diggers are not digging. Let's take a look at them. Unit list. Miner. He's digging. View, oh no, I need C to zoom in. Oh, so he's down here digging. Okay. How about my other miner? He's on break. Okay. Well. That's cool, I guess. Hmm. Pile. Let's just make a furniture pile down here. So at least... There we go. They'll start filling that in with furniture. And that means I can remove this pile. Because I need to start getting this room cleared out. <clears throat> okay. So, what do we have in the way of weapon racks? Uh, we don't. Okay, armor rack? No. So we need to get those built. Let's head down here. Get this guy... off of these and have him make some armor stands and then some weapon stands because that's going to let us make a training room weapon rack here it is oops and uh that looks pretty good maybe a couple more beds nah we're good on beds for now cool sounds good liking this Dude, I'm cool with this. So what they want is figurines, plants, and animals, prepared meals, crowns, quivers. Okay, I get it. You want stuff. Cool. So how's this jeweler doing? He's just doing his thing. Excellent. Um, I guess I can go ahead and get this guy making more rock crafts. Um, that mechanisms are being made. That's good. 
Uh, I want this one doing blocks. That one's got doors. That one's got statues. Things are looking good. Okay, I actually have some statues. Nice. Let's make this place nice. Look forward to... Excellent. Cool. Sorry, I just don't even want to talk to that guy right now. I'm busy. Busy being excellent. So, there we go. We'll get some statues placed in there. I really think I need to just stop this uh, smoothing designation right now. Because they are obsessed with smoothing. And I can't be having it. I need them to go do other stuff. Like, they're necessary. They're needed. They need to come here. They need to finish this. They need to go down and make doors. Statues. There's so many things for them to be doing. And they're doing none of them. So, let's check our rooms here. <coughs> make sure these are all assigned. Or at least all turned into rooms. Um, oh, make a bedroom. Cool. Looks like my people have actually been doing their work, their jobs for, for once. Things get a little smoother once you have a nice chunk of dwarves, because then you can like reasonably expect things to happen when you tell them to happen, or at least with hauling. You know, you tell people to haul, they're gonna eventually do it, as opposed to these stupid. Masons who are obsessed with smoothing everything and just, you know, get nothing else done. I like that I have all these, uh, like, nicer bedrooms with these cabinets. Like, eh, I don't want to put a, do a bed in there, but let's really jump in and make sure we get that cabinet in there as soon as possible, guys. It's very important to me as a dwarf that the cabinets are in there. Even if there's no bed and it's not a bedroom anyone's using, I freaking want those cabinets to be there. Okay, some more wheelbarrows would be nice. Like, I actually wouldn't mind having a wheelbarrow for, like, every dwarf. So, that should be down here. Somewhere around here. Wooden minecart. Okay, so that's... There we go. We'll just put them on repeat on wheelbarrows for a while. <coughs> but if we could get, like, a wheelbarrow for every mine do or uh, hauler dwarf, I feel like that would make things go pretty smoothly, in the haul-in section at least. So, how's my masons doing? Where are my masons at? I'd love to get my military started in this episode. I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll probably at least get the training room set up. So what we want to do is go ahead and make this whole thing a bedroom. Size it up a little. And we're going to make this our barracks. Ah, it doesn't need a name. There we go. So... There's our barracks. Cool. So now we can assign a military squad to that and they'll sleep in there. And I think that's exceptionally important because by keeping them sleeping near the door, they'll be very fast to respond. Because right now that's the only way in or out of my uh, fortress. Okay, so I do have some armor stands. So we're going to go ahead and get... Well, I have like three of them. Cool. There we go. And do I have weapon stands, though? Uh, though we only need one, I just like the way it looks with both of them. Okay, we have one of those done so far. And we're going to turn that into a training room. Seems right now my dwarves are very obsessed with getting wood. Um, I should actually probably designate some more plants to be picked. Oh wait, not really. They're they're doing all right. They had a lot of plants left to pick. But yeah, my dwarves are being pretty obsessive about wood right now. They're just like all running in and out. So that's a good thing. Um, we're striking all kinds of stuff down here. I mean, just just tearing this place up. That's good. We'll go down deeper later. I just wanted them to finish up the work they're supposed to be doing first. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to do this real quick. Um, hotkey one. I can't remember how to do this. Hotkey two. Is that how I do it? 
Now, I accidentally assigned a hotkey to uh, a random dwarf, and I don't remember how I did it. Like, I want to assign a hotkey to this level. I don't remember how. Oh, cool. That's it. So now I can do, like, F1. Should zoom me here. Cool. Excellent, excellent. So now if we want to go look at the masons, we can just hit that. Perfect. And looks like we got a nice chunk of dead things. Rat remains. Honeybee remains. Rat remains. Um, I'm pretty sure I told them not to put bodies in there. Oh, right. Right. I need to turn off, like, all of this. Yeah. Yeah, I need to turn off all of this. So, forbid that. Cool. Because they're just putting corpses in there. And I don't want that. Okay. So... I still hear stone echoing from below. How's this looking? Are you guys actually building this? Nice. Then we can go ahead and build a farm plot in here. We're going to build several of them. Ugh. The sapling's going to be a pain in the ass. That's fine. They're going to look dumb, but I really don't care. There we go. And one more will fit, leaving us with enough room. There we go. Cool. Now what we're going to do is dig a um, tunnel here. Or not tunnel, but right here. Where's this pop in? Perfect. Yeah, we're going to build, build a staircase there. So we can get up and down. But we're not going to do that till this is finished, like, completely being built. The wall, that I mean. So that's looking good. Um. Oh, cool. This is now done. We can go ahead and make this a barrack slash armory. We'll do a nice big room there. And you can do that off of either of those. Okay, so we'll actually set up the military in the next episode. For now, we're just going to continue this. I don't want to turn my haulers into military people yet. I'm going to give them a little more time. Uh, okay, so I need more barrels. Uh, bear, that's a bed. V for barrel. I always forget that. And we're going to take that off repeat. So get him making barrels till we're good on those. We got some delicious, delicious uh, stuff coming in there. Um, you know, one thing I did do that I need to change. Go ahead and read these guys. My farmers. Oh, I got to get rid of that. Are all set right now to gather plants. And I don't want them to do that. Because that's going to stop them from farming. I really just need to get some herbalists. Like, eventually have like two or th like two dwarves that all they do is go pick plants and process. Speaking of processing, I really should get a way to process. So we need to build a quern. Um, and but we could go ahead and build a farmer's workshop. And this lets us extract from plants and make, uh, I believe, dyes. Um. And then eventually, we'll get into the whole cloth industry at some point. Uh, but we're not going to do that yet. Actually, a dyer shop. That uses barrels and buckets, apparently. Okay. And that's probably going to sit there unconstructed for quite a while, because I don't think I have anyone that has cloth or dyeing at all. But the four, the um, one of the farmers should come and build that workshop.
Do I still have a military set up at all? No, I, I deleted the squad. I thought I had. Okay, that's coming along. We are also going to eventually be... There's some bolts just laying on the ground here. Okay. If we could go ahead and get those... Melt? I don't want to melt those. But uh, I'm eventually going to be setting up a large, you know, walled-in area to... Um... Actually, let's go ahead and set that up now. Build... This one I always forget. I did it last time, too. No. Where's walls? C. Capital C. Okay. So we're going to set up some walls here. Because I need a nice large walled area. And I'll probably just actually connect it to the farm. So we'll do like this. No, I don't want to make it out of lit. We'll just make it out of shale. And we'll do another wall. We'll do it like, I don't know. Another four, I think, looks good. And I need that shale again. Another wall. We'll do another four on this side. Make that out of shale. Another wall. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to be setting up um, for beekeeping. Because I know there's bees on my map. I believe there's bees on my map. I'm like 99% sure I've seen bees. Somewhere. There we go. Okay, more shale. And we'll probably, just, we're just going to end up knocking down one of the walls. That's wrong. Uh, one less. There we go. And just finish this off. Just so we only have to have one entrance from below. And we'll just go ahead and make some bee boxes soon. And I believe I have my farmer set up to do beekeeping. Like, yeah, I do. I have my farmer set up to do beekeeping. So we can put some hives in there. And they'll take care of the farmland, the beekeeping. And I can expand more farmland over here if I need to. So, looking good. I don't know why this looks so different. Ah, uh, those are all upstairs. Well, that explains a lot. So let's go ahead and remove those. And build C wall. Yeah, that explains a lot. That explains why they looked very different. <coughs> cool. We're good to resume. So, that's coming along. Um, everything down below is coming along. Hmm. Eventually, I'll be ripping out some of these walls and replacing them with stone walls. That way, we can dig, like, arrow slots in them. We'll probably put, like, a guard post here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and designate that to be built. So, like, right... Oh, wait. I forgot. I always forget that things can go through corner so I don't want to dig that out but we want to dig out like here and we're going to do a guard post that's accessible from in here and we got an open caravan cool uh, actually we're probably not going to do anything with them elves if you <coughs> if they see that you try to trade them anything wood they get really pissed off because they're the only ones who are allowed to touch wood apparently but whatever so I probably won't trade with them at all, because, I mean, yeah, I have a lot of things that aren't wood, but all my gems are in wood bins, and I just don't want to deal with it. So, we still don't have any doors, which is really frustrating. But we do have some statues, so we're going to build, like, a giant wall of statues back here. This is just going to increase the value of the fortress and make people, like, even happier about the epic dining room. Um, so these elves, we're probably just not even going to trade with them. I often don't. They don't normally have anything I want. Like, they can get some good animals and stuff. But I just don't care enough. I do want to go ahead and remove these up-down slopes. Like, right in front of the door here. Get rid of those. Probably get rid of, like, these and these. 
and eventually I'm gonna just like terraform so this so it's no. better defendable. Build like a wall there and a way to shoot out of it. It's gonna be nice. And of course the miner's like, holy crap, removing slopes, I'm on it. And immediately has to go for it. <laughs> she just loves removing slopes, apparently. You got another masterpiece created, that's nice. Man, he's just Slope Master 2000 over there. Look at that. That is sweet. Betrayed. Betrayed by the cats. Okay, so we just got a thief. Where is he? Where's the thief? Time to get a military. Create a squad. We're going to do a no uniform squad for now. Um, Haldorf is a leader. That's good. We don't want to use anyone important, essentially. Uh, so we're just going to get like a, a squad of like three Haldorfs. Let's do like four. I have the Haldorfs to, to um, spare. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to go to the squad screen. We're going to select our Tiredness of Rags. That is, uh... That's their name. And we're going to look for this thief. There he is. And give him an attack order on him. So they're untrained completely. They're going to grab some spears. They're gonna chase this asshole away. I'm gonna chase him. Chase him. Some guy's like, fuck you, I got my hammer dwarf now. And they're gonna see that he left. And they're gonna be like, okay. We're good. <clears throat> yeah, thieves. Where is he? No, not search. Zoom. Oh, okay, there he is. So we're going to take the squad and put a kill order on this guy. Oh, wait, we have to select, kill that guy. And they're going to chase him down. So now while we're doing that... Okay, cool. They've decided that's theirs. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. They've decided that's theirs. That's good. <coughs> and once we're done dealing with this particular kobold, wherever the hell he went, chase him off the map or kill him, whichever comes first. Preferably kill. Um, I'll put up a training schedule for them. And they'll wrestle and rip each other's clothes off and you know all the normal manly dwarf things okay things are looking good I do want to set up this to be dug out completely because I want a nice flat area here to deal with um, so it's better like, more easily defendable we're eventually going to rip these walls out and replace them with stone uh, actually speaking of which I need to remove this designation here and that should not be ripped out. I hope that isn't being ripped out. I'm pretty sure that's not being ripped out. Okay, cool. Actually, you know what? Let's remove this designation here. And that way we can rip out these out and go ahead. Let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to rip these out and then replace them with stone walls. And then build the room and then... We will, um, once the room's built, we'll then open it up from the inside. Oops, I don't want this gone. There we go. That way we'll have, like, a place where they can go on either side of there and just shoot in arrows if they need to. And we'll put some traps in that hallway eventually. It's been good stuff. Fishery worker, surgeon, militia commander, peasant. 
Oh, my people grew up. It is now summer. So I'm going to have to go through and assign them. I'll do that off camera. Should be pretty quick to do so. And we're saving. This actually looks like a pretty good time to end uh, this episode. So off camera, I'm going to go ahead and build these walls out. Or at least set them up to be built. Um, I'll uh, assign the people who grew up. I'll assign their, uh, their stuff. I'm just going to let these guys leave. We need to build a drawbridge here soon. So we'll do that. That's high on the agenda. Uh, and then our next episode, we'll set up our training schedules. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, um, please leave a like and a comment. It really does help me out. And if you're new around here and like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you know when I put out new videos, which, well, it's every day. <laughs> Spoiler alert. But as always, have a great day.